Hi guys, I'm NBC10 First Alert Meteorologist Steve Sosna. Of course, I'm used to seeing you out on the field. You're used to seeing me out on the field, but this year things are different and that's okay because we are gonna bring Weather Education Day right here into our own homes. Hi, I'm Joe Girardi, manager of the Philadelphia Phillies. Hey, I'm sorry we can't enjoy the sixth annual Weather Educational Day in person, but this is gonna be fun. I hope you enjoy this experiment. I know I'm going to, and we both can learn something new because in my business, we have to be prepared for so many different weather conditions. Heat, cold, rain, wind, snow flurries sometimes, and hopefully bright sun. Of course, things are a little bit different this year. You're at home, I'm at home, but baseball is always a game that we play outside and we will again. And somebody who has seen a lot of weather, including severe weather, and some memorable moments is our current coach, Joe Girardi. One time I played in this game in Chicago. It was a, it was a day game and we were looking out over left field and it was about the second inning and Mike Morgan gave up like seven runs in the first inning against the St. Louis Cardinals and he was frustrated and the skies were green. Now usually when you have a thunderstorm rolling in, the skies are kind of gray and you see those big rain clouds, but this was green and we were all looking like, what is that? That looks different than what I've ever seen before. And lo and behold, the skies opened up over the field and it rained so hard that the grounds crew couldn't get the tarp all the way on because when they rolled it out, all the rain fell on the tarp and it got real heavy and they couldn't pull it out and we ended up getting rained out. So hopefully you're doing this with me. Today we're gonna to be learning about tornadoes, some of the most powerful storms on earth. They can range from just a few feet wide to over two miles wide. Winds from 70 miles per hour to over 300 miles per hour. Of course, that's extremely dangerous. Since tornadoes can be so dangerous, it's important that you know the difference between a watch and a warning. A watch means tornadoes are possible, but doesn't mean that they're actually going to happen. You should know your action plan and you want to stay tuned to NBC10 or your phone to get the latest information. A tornado warning means a tornado has been spotted either by a person or by Doppler radar. You have to act now. You want to get to the lowest floor of your home, away from windows or into a bathroom. As soon as you learn you're under a tornado warning, it's important that you remain calm but act quickly. What you want to do? Head to a basement. If you don't have a basement, no problem. You want to go to the bathroom or a closet, anywhere without windows. If you're in a high-rise building, you want to go to the bathroom. That's your best bet. Staying away from windows is the most important thing that you can do. The next thing you can do, protect your head. Either use your hands, crouch down and use your hands to protect your head, or put on a bike helmet. Get into a bathtub. Anywhere that's low and away from windows is your best bet. Of course, NBC10 on air and online will let you know when the warning is issued and when the storm threat is over. So let's make a tornado that's a little more friendly that we can all use here at home. And I'm gonna show you how a tornado is made and it's called a vortex. So what we're gonna do today is make a tornado right here in our own homes. And it's super easy. You just need a couple of items and you're set to go. The first are two two liter soda bottles. What you're gonna do is wash them out, rinse them out, take the uh, labels off, and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna set these aside. A tornado tube. Now this is super helpful, it makes the process a whole lot easier, but if you don't have a tornado tube, which you can order off Amazon, you can use just some metal washers. Also, some duct tape. So what you'll do is put the washer on the bottle and then duct tape it on. So by turning the bottle upside down and spinning it, I'm going to create our own vortex. The spin that I'm creating will be maintained by what we call centripetal force. So that spin allows a couple of things to happen. Air is traveling up through the bottom bottle through the top bottle. Meanwhile, the water from the top bottle is being pushed down by gravity. If you lose that force, that vortex, this water is not going anywhere. So it needs that equal transport of the air up and then gravity pushing the water down. And that's a vortex, just like in the atmosphere where we get tornadoes, inflow and outflow. This is your inflow and your outflow. So if you don't have a tornado tube, you can order one off Amazon. In the meantime, a washer will do just as good of a job. So you just place it on top of the bottle right there. Just as easy as that. 
Then you take the other bottle, place it on top there, and then good old duct tape. You just seal the two on top of each other like that, and it will act the same as your tornado tube. Since you're doing this with duct tape and not a tornado tube, you probably want to do it over the sink. But again, same concept. Just want to twirl it around, and you can watch the tornado start to form. There we go. And like magic. Also not necessary but helpful is some lantern oil. What this will do is color the water so you can see the tornado. So what I'm going to do right now is I already have a two liter bottle with my tornado tube on. I'm going to put some of the lantern oil into the bottle. So this helps us see the tornado. And you can put as much as you want in. I'm going to use a lot just so you guys can see. So. I have the lantern oil on. Now all I need to do is screw the second bottle into my tornado tube. It's that easy and you're almost done. So I'm screwing it in here. And remember it's only water so if you spill a little bit it's not the end of the world here. So what I'm going to do is set everything aside to prevent tornado disaster here. And you're going to turn the bottle upside down and you're going to quick shake it clockwise. And you can get pretty rough with it. And what you're going to see no. is the tornado forming. So this was pretty cool, right? What's even cooler? I want to see you do this on television. So just follow all the instructions that I just took you through. And I want to see your vortex. Make sure that you shoot the video horizontally and then give it a whirl. How do you share it? Well, of course, just go to the NBC10 app, see it, share it, and send us your video. I bet your vortex can be even better than mine. Let's see. Of course, Weather Education Week is not done. We're going to continue it again this afternoon. Hola. It's about all I know in Spanish. But for all of you that do speak Spanish, you will want to be around at 2 o'clock this afternoon. My friend and Telemundo meteorologist Miela Tellas is going to read The Meteorologist in Me in Spanish. You don't want to miss it as Weather Education Week continues right here at NBC 10 and Telemundo 62.